Hello, artists! Hi, guys! If you do not know me, my name is Miss Kowal. It's like a koala bear, but I'm not a bear. I have missed all of you artists so much. Um, if you have never had class with me, hi. I am an artist who likes to teach a bunch of different techniques. Today, I'm teaching you the techniques of making this incredible little clay bunny. So the Kingston Rec Center worked with me and made a whole bunch of art kits and I'm gonna teach you exactly how to use them. With this project, you need your favorite pair of scissors and you need a bunch of your favorite markers. Make sure you have a red one in there. Grab your adorable little bunny art kit and I can't wait to just start creating. Okay guys? Let's go set up. Happy springtime! Hello guys! All right, so just like I showed you in the intro, this is just my top-down camera. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna be showing you all the steps right here. So make sure you can see my hands, you can hear me, and we're gonna start opening up our kits. So first of all, how adorable are these kits? Mine looks like a weird little puppet, love it. So this would be an amazing little bunny. And we're gonna make a little bunny with this kit. All right, this little flower is just hot glued on. So if you want, you can either peel it off or try to just untie it. Use those muscles. And of course, if you can't, just cut the string with a little bit of scissors. Oh. Now it's just a regular old bunny rabbit. Some people have cute little tails, some people have cute little eyeballs, and this packaging was so adorable to make. Keep this, we're gonna be using this as a decoration around our pot later. So, just put that over to the side. This is stapled, many of your kits are stapled. You can rip it, it's okay. The bunny will not get hurt from ripping it. You will find in your kit, an egg, two eggs, a pot, clay, which is so exciting, and two pieces of paper. My business card is also in here if you want to schedule anything else with me. After that, you are done with this little bag. Keep it for any trash or any scraps that you have. Oh my gosh, look at how great. <laughs> okay, the first part of our entire project is cracking open these eggs. Go ahead, crack those open. There's a special surprise inside. When you're done cracking them open, put one of the eggs inside of your pot and the other half of your egg on top, like a little hat. This is what our bunny is gonna sit on later. Then put that to the side. This is just decoration egg for the side of it. And then you're gonna go to your paper. <laughs> the clay is gonna be absolutely last. This is gonna be a really cute little decoration for inside of your pot. Just roll your piece of paper. And you're just gonna cut a whole bunch of pieces of grass. Be careful while you're cutting. Get in a whole bunch of different directions. We want this to be nice and fluffy grass. Cutting, I'm 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 cutting. Here we go, keep going, keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting. Basically like the world's worst haircut. <laughs> Once you have a really nice, badly done haircut, unroll it. This is gonna sit inside of your pot. Ta-da! Now, uncurl it a little bit. Cause on the inside of your pot, we're gonna do that again. Remember, just roll your green piece of paper. and give it a bad haircut. 
make your cuts a little bit taller. All right, unroll it. Then put it into your pot. If you need to take them out, you totally can. And then just curl them around your pot to make it look like a weird little flower. Right here is where we're going to put our beautiful little bunny. I'm just roughing it up a little bit. Oh, it's adorable so far. Okay, clean up all of your mess and all of your cat hair like I have. <laughs> You did not get cat hair in your kit. Your mask can go right into your art kit. And now you need to go and get scissors that you were already using, a blue marker, a yellow marker, and a red marker, okay? Pause and go get those things. We are going to start by taking out just the white clay. You wanna keep that black clay in your bag so it doesn't dry out. So grab your white clay. It probably has a little mark on it from when it was in the bag with the black. We're just gonna mix that right in. Seal up your bag. Boop. Put it off to the side. Now, clear off your area you do not want any marks or paint or dirt to get in your clay because it is nice and white. We're gonna be mixing a bunch of different colors in this clay. This clay is called Model Magic and we've probably used it maybe in art class before. It's just like nice and foamy. With Model Magic, you have to first warm it up by squishing it, breaking it apart, squishing it back together. Break it apart, squish back together break it apart, squish back together. Maybe use your thumbs and squish everything to the middle of your clay. You want it to be nice and warm. All right, now, using your scissors, cut your clay in half. Cut your clay in half again. This is gonna be the head of our bunny. Cut that clay in half again. It's gonna be our bunny's face. Cut your clay in half again. These are gonna be our bunny's paws. Over here, you're gonna cut it in half once. This is our bunny's body. And these are any extra eggs that you want. We're gonna be making some eggs just to make sure that you know how to mix your colors. Okay, so I'm gonna make a tiny little egg. So I'm cutting my clay. <laughs> so you have this tiny bit of clay. If you just make a little pancake, flatten out your clay, then I'm gonna use a little bit of red. My clay is already white. So if I add red to it, it's gonna make a pink. I am squishing the clay together first. I'm stretching, I'm pulling, and I'm squishing back together. You can see it's starting to make a swirly pink. A little bit of marker get, might get on your finger and that's okay too. Okay, there we go. I have a nice swirly cool looking pink. Now. Um, this is going to be an Easter egg for my um, little bunny. So I want to make it another color. So again, I'm going to squish it. And I think I want to add a little bit of blue. I'm just dyeing my clay, swirling it around. And then to make this into an egg shape, I'm just going to make it into a ball. The way you make a ball of clay is that you put it in your hand first, in the palm of your hand, then with your other palm of your hand, 
go in a circle, rub in a circle. And you can kind of figure out, am I making a perfect ball or am I making an egg? Oh yeah, look at that Easter egg. Cool. If I wanted to make a green egg, I could, but I'm just gonna make one egg for now. If you want maybe a pink bunny, you can make all of your body parts pink with a little bit of red. If you want a brown bunny, you would just use a brown marker. If you want a gray bunny, you can mix um, a little bit of black with your body, but I'm just gonna make mine nice and white, okay? I'm gonna let this dry for a bit and we're gonna start making our bunny's body. All right, so for our bunny's body, you're gonna go back in and grab that egg that you put on top. Then you're gonna grab the biggest ball of clay that you have and make it into a ball. Remember using those palms. Then you're gonna squish your clay into a pancake. If you want, you can even use the markers that you were using as like a little roller. Once you do have a pancake, you're gonna stretch your clay over that egg. This is gonna make the bunny's body. Now this is model magic. If you notice, I had a little bit of wrinkles. I added accidentally some texture because of my ring. So if you just pat it down with your thumbs, you can get rid of that texture. Flip your egg over and go right over the sides of your egg with your clay. Now we're only gonna see basically from the shoulders up with our bunny. It's not gonna have any bunny butts or any cottontails. This is just the body of our bunny. Okay, put that to the side. Now grab your second biggest ball of clay and again, make it into a ball and then we're just gonna roll back and forth until we get that egg shape that we had before at this point you want to just flatten out the top of that egg shape see that use your thumb and kind of pinch just a little bit so this part is nice and flat this part is nice and round. All right, so I'm just making sure this part is round, this part is flat. And then, with your scissors, you're gonna cut halfway down on that flat part, and this is gonna give us the bunny ears. Ta-da! Now, if you like it kind of um, pointy on top, you totally can just keep it like that. I think I'm gonna make my bunny ears nice and round doo, 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 doo. i'm even gonna have mine be a little bit longer so i'm just pulling my clay a little and i want my bunny ears time to flop out oh cute love it all right i'm putting my bunny head right over there grab your smallest bit of clay and you're gonna cut your clay even smaller. This is going to be my bunny cheeks. And I'm going to just get a teeny bit of clay for my bunny's front teeth. A teeny bit of clay for my bunny's nose. And a teeny bit of clay for my bunny's ears. My bunny's nose is gonna be pink, so we already know we need to add a little bit of red to it. Boop. Just like we did with that Easter egg, we are just gonna pull and squish until I get a cute little pink nose. Oh, 
Alright. Cute and pink. Now that I have my cute little pink nose, I'm going to shape that later, but first I need to make my bunny's cheeks. The way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to cut one of these in half. I want them to be around um, a little bit bigger than the nose of the bunny. So I'm going to make two small balls. Do, 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 do. One. And I want them to be the same size. Two. Now this is gonna be my bunny's teeth. Those would be huge teeth, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit off. Feel free to resize. Now, I can make this into a ball and just squeeze it into kind of a rectangle, or I can just simply use my scissors and cut a little rectangle. These are going to be my bunny's teeth, so I'm going to use my scissors and just make a little mark for my buck teeth. If you are nervous to use scissors, what you could do is use Um, a pen or a pencil, and just make a little line. See a little buck teeth. Very cute, very adorable. Put your teeth down. Put your teeth down. Put one ball right on top of your tooth so you can see it just a little bit and put your other ball right next to it. Now just pinch it down a little, squish it, so they stick together. Oh, very cute. At this point, use that pencil and make three little dots. You can add more than three if you want. I think I only wanna add three. Then you have to make a little triangle nose for your bunny. So I'm just going to pick off a little bit of my pink. I'm gonna make a little ball. I'm using just my finger in my palm just cause it's so small. Then you're gonna pinch the sides of your ball and then pat down the ball. I'm pinching, I'm patting, then I'm pinching to make a little triangle. If you wanna just cut a triangle, you can also do that if you're having a hard time. My little bunny nose is going right in the middle of those two balls and boom. Now we have like most of our bunny face all done, cute. Now we have to work on our bunny ears. So the first thing we're gonna do, we have this amazing cute little bunny head. I'm just gonna take my pinky I'm just going to kind of curve out these ears just so they have a little bit of some shape on them. See how there's an inner ear? I'm going to do the same thing on my other ear, just curving it out with my pinky, being so incredibly gentle. If I do accidentally make a mark with my finger, which I've done, I'm just trying my hardest to get it out. Oh my goodness, look how cute. Now I wanted it to fold over before and I still might. I still have time to do that. I'm gonna grab a little bit of my extra clay. And just like we did with our pink sweet nose, I'm making it pink. You can really do anything with this clay. If you have any left over after we make our bunny paws and um, our other Easter eggs, you can just paint this however you'd like or color it, I guess. All right, so now I wanna make this kind of shape, this kind of like long pancakey shape out of my pink here. So I'm going to first 
uh, as like everything else, gonna make a ball. And then on one side of my ball, I'm gonna rock back and forth until I have almost like a teardrop or a, a raindrop shape. And I'm gonna squish it. So it's big on the top, little on the bottom. And I'm gonna make sure that it lines up and it does. I'm gonna put it in the ear of my bunny. Then I'm just gonna do that again. It's not perfect, don't worry about it. As long as that inner ear is pink or whatever color you'd like, just to give it some interest in that ear. those ears in. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I love them. All right. Smooth out any areas you'd like on your bunny. Then before we add our cute little mouth onto our bunny, our bunny needs eyes. So finally, we're going to get a little bit of our black clay. Now, if you want a gray bunny, or maybe you want your paws to be gray, or maybe you want some spots on your bunny, you can always mix in a little bit of your black clay. I'm gonna just get a little bit of my clay, and then right on my clean surface, I'm gonna make a coil. So a coil is just a clay snake. I'm gonna make it nice and long and skinny. A very skinny coil. Now you can play around with this a little bit. Do you want to make your bunny kind of silly looking? You can make two little circles and then you can cut a little bit of your coil and put it inside those circles to make eyes. Or I'm gonna have my bunny's eyes kind of close and look really happy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my coil in half. I'm gonna curve my coil up so it almost looks like a little rainbow shape. And I'm gonna put these right under my ears. Oh, look how cute. It would look just as cute with those kind of eyes too. All right, try to make them the same size and the same height. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. So happy. All right, now right underneath my eyes, I can put my mouth. Wiggle it on as best as you can. If you need a little bit of glue, and you have some glue, go for it. I'm just gonna put it on there. All right, let that relax and kind of sit down for a little bit. Move your eyeballs. Oh my gosh, what if I put them on the egg? That'd be so silly. Now I'm gonna make the paws of my bunny. I'm gonna grab my two, um, extras right here. You want to make two little balls a little bit smaller than your head. Then just like everything else, these have been sitting for a little while so you're gonna have to warm them up again. Warm them up. Make little balls there. And you are going to just rest them on the corner of your pot. So here's one paw. Boop. Once you've rest them on the corner of your pot, you're just gonna put teeny, tiny little cuts, and that is one paw of your bunny. We're gonna do that again, but I think I wanna cut a little bit of my grass away, just so my bunny can sit a little bit more comfortably. There 
There we go. A throne made for a bunny king or queen. All right, so first things first, before I even do my next paw, I'm gonna add my bunny body right inside of my pot. Bunny body is a great, great word to say. I'm gonna add my bunny head directly on top of my bunny body. I actually think I need a little bit of clay just to stick these two together. Warm up the clay, warm up the clay, warm up the clay, stick it down. I'm gonna just pick off a little bit of clay off of the, my bunny head because it kind of dried. Wiggle it on a little bit. Oh my goodness, how cute. So far, so good. All right, I'm gonna place one of my paws down. There's one. Gonna make my other paw. Make a little ball. Press it down. Cut three little slits. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute that is. So with my bunny, I wanted to just fill it all with a bunch of Easter eggs. They're just surrounded by cute little eggs. I'm gonna make three of these eggs really quickly. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute he came out. Oh, or she, I have no idea. Oh, it's so adorable. I love all the textures and how all these eggs came out. You could even fill up these with flowers or even more eggs or maybe make them like a little a friend back here or like a chipmunk or something this is so cute okay so the final thing that we have to do is give it a little bow oh it's so adorable <laughs> oh, it looks so happy. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Look at that. That is perfect for any table, any maybe Easter gathering you're having. Um, if you don't celebrate Easter, even just like for a little spring um, birthday present any just decoration for spring. This is so, so sweet. Oh, and look at this. We can even use the flower that was on the packaging right back here. Oh my goodness. How cute. Oh, I love him. I love her. Uh, I hope you guys had so much fun. Let's go see this in a little bit better of a view. Um, her name will be Harold and gonna be Princess and King Harold. I don't know. <laughs> I hope you had a great time creating this little guy. Put him up on a shelf, maybe give it away to grandma or grandpa, but it came out so adorable. Oh, I love it. If you want to create even more um, amazing projects, there's a bunch more art kits that are going out. Uh, if you go to BeebleArt.Center, you can take some other classes. I have a few clay club um, participants ready to go. If you just keep looking at the Plymouth Rec Center and the Kingston Rec Center and BeebleArt.Center, um, you can take even more classes. This came out so cute. Oh, I love it. Just as spring. I hope you had an amazing time and I hope to see you again really soon. I'll miss you all very much. Bye, artists.